your quizzes. Like history teachers are like, oh, we're going to quiz. I'm like, no, it takes me forever, let alone to write a quiz, find good problems. Second, to type them. It takes me forever. Forever. But I do these during the summer. Are there like shortcuts for all these buttons? No. How do you do it? I mean, there's, there's symbols, so I have to put in a, it'll show up if I want a power. Oh. Then I have to click each box and insert an E here, click this box, and then I have to insert cosine. Then I have to insert X. And I mean, it's just. It takes a while to type. I mean, after a while, you get used to it, but it's still pain. Okay, but anyway, I need to pick a U. Now, I need to pick something whose derivative kind of naturally appears, or close to its derivative appears. I'm going to pick cosine. <coughs> now, a lot of people would ask, why didn't I pick sine? Because its derivative is there too, correct? You want to try to pick those natural, like, inside square roots, exponents, all the good stuff is if you were doing the chain rule. Now, if this does not work out, I could go and pick U, B, sine X. See if it works out. But now that I have U, I'm going to take a derivative. The derivative of U is DU, DX, correct? Yes, no? Yes. And what is DU, DX? A of sine X. with me so far? That is a derivative. But let's get du by itself. So multiply both sides by dx. All I did was multiply both sides by dx. You follow me there? Usually after we do these, we go straight from here to here. After a while. Okay. But that's how we get the dx on the side. We took a derivative, du dx, multiply by dx. So now, going over here, find du, got it, right? Now I want to solve for dx. So I want to get dx by itself. So to do that, I would have to divide by all this. So I'd have 1, I'm going to actually put a negative, over sine x, du equals dx. Can you put like just negative du over sine x, or do you want to leave it like that? You, it doesn't matter. Uh, this would be a little more helpful to see. But as you do more and more, it won't matter. They won't follow me here? Do not change that to cosecant. It's not going to help you at all. In fact, it will stop you. Okay, so I've got that down. I've found a U. I solved for DX. And I want to plug in for DX. And I should probably put and U. That might be a given, but you may want to add that. Back to my integral. This was u, correct? Yeah. So I now have the integral of sine x e to the u, but instead of dx, dx equals all this, right? So instead of having dx there, I'm going to plug in all that. Negative 1 over sine x du. There's no more dx I plugged in for it. All of that. Now, if you did it right, everything with an x will cancel. Divided by sine times sine, won't those cancel? So now the integral, negative e to the u du. Now, isn't that a whole lot easier to do an antiderivative of? So let's do that. So the antiderivative of negative e to the u is negative e to the u plus c. Last thing I need to plug u back in. So I get negative e, u is cosine, plus c. Are you going to have these like uh, at a point? Um, no, you just have an interval. Okay. Um, be careful. Here is a derivative, but remember an integral. In order to get rid of the integral, you have to actually take an anti <coughs> right? So I'm doing both within one problem. You have to keep them straight. Questions so far?